morning guys. Quick half hour jaunt in the neighborhood. The sun is coming up right there. As you can see, gorgeous day in December. Not a lot going on today. Uh, we do have some plans to uh, make this week a week of health. It's a good way to start. Look at that, that's incredible. Most people think you gotta travel to Hawaii to go to paradise. It's right here. It's on the mainland, it's right here. in yesterday's vlog that we were gonna do some kind of juice fast kind of thing. So we're heading to the farmer's market this morning. Grab some stuff. Yep. Lighting's a little better on this side. You never know what you're gonna find at Malibu Farmer's Market um, among the fruits and veggies and really good stuff. Interesting people in sometimes interesting outfits. Yeah, sometimes. Like her. What? Yeah, that's insane. It is beautiful. Bought a an absolutely massive amount of veggies and fruits for the juicing this week. Wow, that's that's kind of cool, actually. And now we're taking the doggies for a little walk through uh, Legacy Park. It's grown up pretty nicely. Sounds like a plan. Does that sound right? I, I don't know. But uh, we went to the farmer's market, bought a bunch of stuff, yes, including all that stuff right there and this stuff. And that's all going in the juicer? Some of it. I'm just going to talk to you. see what in. happens. It's yeah. going to be tasty. I just, wa I just watched a great movie. Mm -hmm. What was the name of it? It's called Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. And it was all about juice fasting. And if you guys want to see mm -hmm. an inspirational story, you don't have to be 400 pounds, you can be our size, but everybody's got a little something to work on. Yeah, it's really good, it's on so, Netflix. You can uh, you can watch it uh, streaming. It's called Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. So check it out. Really great. Let's do some juice. Let's make some juice. I saw in the movie they didn't even take the seeds out, so I'm not going to take the seeds out. Some broccoli. Now look at this hopeful fresh beet. This is regular kale. And then, look at this 
beautiful kale. I mean, I could just put that on the table when you have a dinner party. It's too pretty to eat. Let's eat it. Stirring with a knife, only Kathy does that. How about this? Hey. Ooh, that is good. That's not fair, you tried it first before me. You want to try the knife? <laughs> Don't spill it. I'm not going to spill it. Cheers. Cheers. To health. Everybody's health. Mm. Oh man. Oh my god, that's good. It's the apple that really, oh man, that is so good. Headed south on PCH, it's become quite a blustery day. Those of you that drive SUVs, uh, anything large, uh, even a semi-truck, it can be a challenge, I don't mind saying. But where am I going and what am I doing is the question. Well, I'm glad you asked because I'm headed south on PCH, going out to KNX 1070 Radio. That's just where the building is. But I'm getting on the radio with uh, Randy Cardoon. We're gonna be doing his podcast, which is talking about cars. What can I say? I'm gonna hang out with Randy for a little bit. Plug in the books, we're talking about Christmas, we're doing all kinds of fun stuff. And, um, well, that's what we're doing. Happened so fast. It did. We had a great time. Randy Cardoon talking about cars. Uh, he's got some great plans for the coming year, don't you? We do, and uh, there's all sorts of things coming up. But of course, uh, before the end of the year, you're going to want to listen to Fireball as he joins talking about cars 101, where we're going to uh, have Candy Clark from uh, the movie American Graffiti. That's going to be coming up here. Cool. Fact, we're uploading it on Thursday. Plus, you'll get a chance to. Uh -oh. Smell <laughs> some really cool candles on a podcast. It would be cool if they were candles, though. Oh, they're not? No, they're soaps. You know, you could light these on fire, and then you'd smell something really creative. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But candles are a great idea, by the way. That's not a bad idea. All right. That was a lot of fun. Big thanks, Randy, for having me over. It's always fun to talk about cars, and that's what Randy does best. Be sure to check out his podcast, but he's going to launch this pretty soon, and I'll let you guys know.
always, always a fun time hanging out with Randy, talking about cars, and uh, just kind of seeing what he's up to. He does a, a really tremendous job on uh, KNX 1070. That's that's the the radio station that he's at. This podcast is pretty awesome, and uh, if you want to learn more, you know, hit him up. As a side note, before I wrap this vlog up, I want to thank uh, those people that have reached out to me through uh, Instagram, email, and a variety of places, expressing their concerns about Fireball Pop. I want to let you know that he uh, he just went through a procedure yesterday, no, today, this morning, endoscopy and colonoscopy, if you know what I'm talking about. Yeah at the same time. But the result from that procedure is that he is uh, he's perfect. He's perfectly fine. He was having a little bit of issue with, um, uh, well, you know, I don't necessarily want to get into it. The doctors did say that he's one of the healthiest ni pre-90 year olds they've ever seen. And you can imagine, at uh, 90 years old, your, your body's probably seeing the majority of things that it could possibly see. But he's doing really well. And I want to thank everybody. Uh, the outpouring of concern and stuff was uh, tremendous. And I, I really appreciate that, guys. So thank you all. And circling back, uh, you know, had an interesting day. Uh, it was really great to kind of wrap it up with Randy because and we had a conversation about this. Most people in life are, are trying to get things. They're trying to uh, accumulate money, accumulate status, uh, accumulate power, get things. You know, our society is built on the fact that, that we, we need to get things in order to improve and, and get better and and uh, and that somehow life will be better if we get these things. But what we're missing, what we're missing, the point is that you can't spend your time trying to accumulate, trying to get things, uh, because that's not really the way how it works. How things do come to you is through the mindset of giving. Although we're kind of entering into the giving holiday season, giving is something, as we mentioned, it's uh, it's year-round. It's something that you have to get in the mindset that it's important to always give first, and then things will come to you. If you set out to get things, you're always trying to do it through force. You're trying to uh, uh, somehow use your power or your strength or your, your might to be able to break through and get what you need and get what you want. But the simple way, the easy way, the fast way is just by giving. Just by taking the best of what you are and what you do and by giving it to others and sharing it. Sometimes we don't make the connection that we, we do something nice for someone else and then something nice happens to us. And we don't make that connection that, that they don't have any commonality. But the truth is, they do. The point is, in this holiday season and in every season, giving is the, the secret key, the secret to accumulating anything. Randy understands this. Uh, I do my best to understand it. And a lot of people that I work with understand it. And through that, only through that, will you be able to create the life of your dreams. As I've stated on this blog so many times, our job is to help you improve your life through what you love. And getting what you love is easy, as long as you give love. Have an awesome day, folks. We will see you tomorrow, or maybe even sooner. Thank you.